this airplane has got a very stylish look to it. It does, and it comes from a company that does three different kinds of aircraft, all slightly different. This one's the High Wing Storm Rally, Storm Aircraft being the Italian manufacturer that designed the aircraft. There's also a Storm Century, which is a low-winged aircraft, and then they have the Sea Storm, which is an amphibious um, flying boat. Very interesting that they have such difference in their design quality. And what about the construction of this particular aircraft? This Storm Rally is an all carbon fiber and a composite structure. Uh, in sharp contrast to the Century, which is an all-metal airplane. So not only are they using high and low wing, they're using two different kinds of construction. What type of control systems does this aircraft use? Well, this one uses side-by-side uh, -side seating, as you can see, and another one with a large cabin, as you may be able to see inside, uses a dual joystick control, dual controls for both seats of both operators, both occupants can operate the aircraft, and it uses a gull wing door setup. This actually makes for quite easy entry. Just ease yourself back, sit down, pull your legs in behind you, you're ready to go flying. Now this has got a fairly long nose on it, Dan. What's hidden under that cowl? Well, again, we use the Rotax 912 100 horsepower engine, Dave, and again, spinning a three-blade prop. That's a popular combination. The third blade, instead of a two-blade prop, adds some engine smoothness or operation smoothness while you're flying the airplane. What type of uh, cruise and, and that would we get on this one? This was a little bit slower than some of the other ones. Uh, probably a good solid 110 mile an hour cruise, uh, but it probably is going to top out in the 115, 120 mile an hour range, whereas some of them go a little bit faster. But that still makes for a real nice flying qualities and a lot more friendly airplane than some of the real high-end jobs. But how is this airplane brought into the U.S. though? Well, it is an Italian construction, although there's a plan to have it built completely in the United States. That's not an uncommon theme lately, where com major component parts are created in the country of origin and then brought here and finished, finished assembled. But in this particular case, this is a fully built Italian airplane brought in and sold here by Light Sport America. And you can find lots more information about their product and their other lines of aircraft that we discussed at lightsportamerica.com. And do you have a flight report on this airplane, do you, Dan? I have done a flight report on this airplane as well, and it is available on my website, which is bydanjohnson.com. That's bydanjohnson.com.